It's Sonny's Piano TV Show, featuring highlights from some of Sonny's most popular past episodes, including the winners of Sonny's June-July 2012 Win a Free Piano on Facebook contest, professor of jazz piano Scott Balin, classical pianist and yoga instructor Angelica Olsted, and much, much more. And now, here's Sonny. Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you to another Sonny's Piano TV show featuring the Winifrey Piano Contest. And today, our guest host and our guest artist is my friend, Scott Balin. And this is Scott Balin sitting next to me here. Hello. And uh, Scott, we, uh, we go back a few years now, right? It's been three years, yeah. Yeah, Scott uh, spotted a Mason Hamlin double A that I had. Double A, yeah. Uh, we buy and sell pianos here at Sonny's Pianos. We also have a warehouse. And the double uh, A is uh, the one that you purchased was six foot two? Six foot two, right. Yeah, at some instrument. Oh, it's incredible. Yeah, they just uh, have tremendous sound. 1929. And a 1929. Great, great yeah. pianos. So. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you have before that? A Kauai? Kauai. Yeah. But it was a nice piano. Yeah. KG2. Yeah. Mason Hamlin's great piano. Oh, it's incredible. Yeah, I just picked one up. I got it's a, uh, yeah, a five foot eight. Wow. Uh, it's a uh, model uh, A, and that's a, a five foot eight piano. And original parts, 1922. All original. Pin block, soundboard, hammers, pins, plays like a charm, holds the tuning. But today, uh, we'd like to uh, talk a little bit more about piano playing and we uh, uh, see Scott as a resource because he is a uh, professor of music at Five Towns College and he specializes in uh, jazz piano and uh, a lot of other things. And you're also getting your PhD there? Well, DMA, Doctor of Musical Arts. Uh -huh. In the process of that, yeah. finishing that up. Uh -huh. It's been a while. And you teach courses there at the college? Oh, right? Sure, I teach courses of music history, yeah. piano lab, right. private piano students, uh -huh. uh, harmony, uh, advanced harmony now I'm teaching. Right. And you were doing something with the uh, Mer Great American, Great American Songbook. Songbook in the past yeah. I've done, yeah. Yeah, that's great. But today uh, we'd uh, like to uh, talk a little bit in a little while about the, uh, the Winter Free Piano Contest. We're going to uh, take a look at some of the videos there and we're going to give some feedback on right. them. And, uh, but uh, we just heard Scott, started off the show with Scott playing uh, some music and he's going to talk a little bit about what he was doing and, and give us some insight into it and maybe a couple of tips on how we can get going with that sound, so, yeah. Uh, sure, yeah, I was playing basically around minor blues. Mm -hmm. In other words, you take a 12-bar blues, which is based around dominant chords, and you make them minor chords, and voila, you have a minor blues, and it gives it a whole different timbre. And it's great to improvise on, especially if people just starting out, so you can use the blues scale, or a simple minor pentatonic scale, right. whatever key you're in, right. and you can really not be so crazy with a uh, zillion chord changes, right. which throws beginners off. Right. Cool. Even a standard song can be difficult. Yes. But the blues, you're going to get a couple scales going, right. a couple simple ideas, and develop, develop it from that. And now, Sonny and Scott review some of the winning videos from Sonny's June-July 2012 Winter Free Piano on Facebook contest. And so this is the fellow who's uh, out in weed, and he has 28, uh, over 2,800 votes at this point. He set a new record. Right. This last year was the first one we ran, the, and the two leaders came in with about 2,600 votes, and he's now up over 2,800, and there's still another week to go. So, uh, uh, and, and to win, uh, get this many votes, you have to really have a, a lot of supporters and fans. Oh, so exactly. He has a lot of uh, fans and, and people pulling for him. So let's take a look at uh, James uh, playing uh, this piece here.
Okay, so that's uh, James Nguyen, and uh, I, I, I think he has a nice flow, and he's yeah. got a nice feeling, a nice tempo, he's not yeah. rushing through it. No, he's no, just, it's, it's well nice, played, yeah. Nice and relaxed, and uh, this is a, uh, a, a more of a, a modern piece. New Age? Yeah, yeah, like a New Age point. piece, yeah. yeah. I think this was a theme song to a movie, mm -hmm. and uh, I, you know, got to hand it to this, this fellow, he really uh, stuck with it, and, and really encourage his friends to vote for him and uh, right. you know I think that he's probably going to uh, be coming first but let's look at some of the other videos. Sure. When we return, Sonny interviews the winners of his June-July 2012 Winner Free Piano on Facebook contest. But first, a yoga tip from classical pianist and yoga instructor, Angelica Olsted. Hi, my name is Angelica Olsted, and this is another yogi pianist tip. So when I play, I really like to make contact with the keyboard, and it's really useful to have greater range of motion when you're playing. So this is an exercise I like to do to release the shoulders and to also just loosen up the upper body. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to place the hands down on the keyboard and thinking about plugging in the elbows this is sort of similar to what you do for an upward dog if you're familiar with yoga. Um, place the hands down on the keyboard cover, inhale the chest up, draw the large parts of the shoulders towards one another and really think about engaging the elbows in and pressing down on the keyboard cover. Inhale here, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale the body to the left, keeping both sits bones firmly planted on the bench. Exhale out to the back, rounding at the back. Inhale the other side, 
and slowly rotate in a circle. When you've done that, you can go the opposite way. All the meanwhile, making sure the hands are firmly planted on the keyboard cover. What this does is that this allows you to really start implementing larger parts of the arm and the upper body when you play instead of just centralizing all of the motion in your fingers. You understand that basically in order for your fingers to play, there needs to be a lot more working towards that. So this just helps you make that connection, really keeping the shoulders down and feeling the full weight of the elbows and the upper arm. Thanks. And now, Sonny with the winners of his June-July 2012 Winter Free Piano on Facebook contest. Today is the award ceremony. We're going to be giving the pianos away to the four winners of our June and July 2012 Winter Piano Contest on Facebook. And first place prize goes to James Nyin, and this is a Albert Weber upright piano. And this is brand new out of the box, and these are very special pianos. They're very similar, in my opinion, to Steinway's, and they actually have a Renner action in here, and Renner hammers, uh, just like the Bosendorfers and the Becksteins, and the Steinway's that are made in Hamburg, Germany. So this piano is a very well-kept secret, but this plays like a Steinway, in my opinion, and it's just brand new, and this is rosewood, so it's uh, very beautiful, has a nice inlay, and these Albert Weber pianos are just great. And we're very fortunate to be able to carry a line of these. And uh, this one, mm -mm, I just love the way it sounds and plays. And I think James is going to uh, uh, agree when he gets this very shortly. So we're going to be speaking to James today via Skype. And he's going to give us some uh, feedback about how he got into the contest and, and mobilized all the votes that he did. And second place is this Steve Baby Grand Piano. And this is a uh, handcrafted American piano, and this is going to Delini Ranawira, and she came in second. And uh, this was rebuilt and refinished. And these handcrafted American pianos, we specialize in these uh, here at Sonny's, and they have just tremendous tone and tremendous lifespan, and they uh, just really respond, uh, and they just look beautiful too. So this is uh, the second place that's going to Delini Ranawira. And uh, this is the third place prize. It's a Wurlitzer uh, upright piano. Very pretty, nice uh, furniture piece, and very low mileage on it. I think it's about seven or eight years old, and it's just like new. And this has got a very, very snappy action. And this is going to Samantha Cermak, and she just mobilized her base and her community, and she came in third. It's a great piano, and going to a great piano player. And fourth place is going to uh, Joe Roberts. And Joe uh, is actually here from in Brooklyn on uh, New York. And he is going to get the Hardman Upright Piano. And uh, all these folks had great videos and great music, as did all the people that uploaded. Uh, last year's contest, we drew uh, a quarter of a million friends of fans on Facebook. But this contest just went right through the roof we got 1.5 million friends of fans. So in a way, this contest went viral. And uh, we couldn't be happier. Each and every one of the videos was very unique and very special. And that's what we wanted to do with this contest, is to show how piano playing is a very wide spectrum. It's a big umbrella, lots of different styles of playing, and lots of different types. And everyone can play the piano. It's healthy, it's healing, it's wonderful brings people together, and that's what happened here. We brought together 1.5 million people, and uh, it's a community of piano players and musicians, and it's very social. Hey, James, how are you? Okay, I'm just uh, noodling around on your uh, Albert Weber uh, upright piano. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Soon to be, uh, soon to be in California, right? That's where you're, uh, you're, you're from, California. Yeah, I'm from California. Around the San Francisco area. Yeah. Yeah. And how did you hear about the contest? Um, I was actually part of the group last year, and um, I was going to enter, okay. but I didn't really have any good videos on myself playing, so I decided to just like vote. And then um, when you did it again this year, I had a, a video for me to share, so I, I just signed up, and then I. 
fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it was great. So what, what made you uh, choose that particular uh, piece? That was uh, 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 like a very new age piece, uh, I think it was from a movie theme or something? Yeah, it's from a movie called um, Amelie, or Amelie. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Well, I chose that song because uh, I've heard it back in high school, and then recently, uh, before the music competition that I entered in, um, I heard it again, and, uh, and then I was kind of thinking, like, I, I have to learn this song because I've always heard it, but, but I never attempted to try and learn it. And it was a, it was a good song, so I was like, um, this is probably like one of the songs that, that will surprise people. So I just, I took my time to learn it, and then I tried to get really good at it, you know, so then I just chose that song just because of the beauty of it. Yeah, and you, you achieved it. it. It really flowed out of you. It was very feeling and very sensitive. A lot of comments about how, how feeling that, that piece was. But, uh, and, uh, so, and then uh, you mobilized a lot of folks to, to vote for you. You, got, you broke the, uh, the record. Last year, the, uh, the uh, folks that came in first and second, I'm happy that I did the record. <laughs> they, came, they had uh, about uh, 2,600, and you, you uh, had over 600 more. You had over 3,300 uh, votes. That, that, that was great. That was amazing. Kind of like this the thing with Facebook is, I guess, friends reach out to friends, reach out to friends, and it just yeah, like starts to snowball. exactly what happened in my situation. Because what I did was that um, um, I created a Facebook event, and I, and I added all of my friends. And then my friends and family heard about it, and then they invited their friends. So I started off with about um, 498 um, invites that of my friends, and it escalated to 4,116 people. And I was really surprised. I was like, wow. Wow. People. Yeah, right out. That, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So uh, did, did they get the idea that they could vote twice a day? Because that... We, some people got that and some people didn't. Once on Facebook, yeah, once on our page. In the beginning, they were kind of confused because everyone thought you just vote once and then that was it. And then I tried to make it as clear as possible right. that you vote twice a day until June 12th. You know, I tried to get that as, as clear as possible. And at some point, they all kind of got it, you know? So. Yeah, you pretty much led right from the, uh, right from the, uh, the starting line, so uh, yeah. And um, so, music. You're uh, you're going to pursue music as a career, as a sideline, or uh, uh, you know, how, is this something that uh, is it in the future? Is this something more for you and your friends? Or um, mainly, it's, it's mainly for me and for my audience, basically, because I don't have a piano at home for me to practice on. And um, not yet, me, not, but now you will. Play play, um, play on piano is when I'm at school because I'm at school. We have piano practice rooms and then I go there during my uh, spare time after my classes at my college and then I can only spend so much time there you know and then so that's why I really want my own so I could practice and play better and be able to perform more and better songs for my audience yeah wherever I am you know? yeah spoken like a true piano player and uh, but now now you will have a piano at home so uh, if uh, if that's what you accomplished uh, by just playing here and there we'll look forward to seeing uh, uh, where, where, you, where you go with it, because uh, this is a very nice piano. It's, yeah, and it's, it's uh, yeah, I'm real happy you're going to get this. Well, that, our plan is to continue running these uh, contests and TV shows on Facebook, because we feel we've, uh, we've created a community, and our community has been created around this, and we're just responding to it, and we just want to you know, keep doing this and, and giving uh, new artists uh, an opportunity to express themselves and be seen, because, you know, that's what the piano is about, is just sharing the uh, music and sharing the joy of piano playing. So I just want to thank you, and thank you again, and uh, wish you all the luck. Hello, Delini. Hello, Nilou. Hi, Sonny. How are you? You're, we're uh, speaking to you from Long Island, New York, and you are in Pennsylvania, right? Yes. Yes, we are. Where in Pennsylvania? What city? Um, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Oh, Pittsburgh. Okay. Um, well, first of all, congratulations. Uh, Thank you. I'm standing in front of your uh, Steve Baby Grand here, and uh, this is uh, going to be your new piano, and we'll be shipping this out to you probably over, maybe even next week, as soon as next week. What are you going to do with your other piano? Um, we're going to give it to my neighbor. Oh. Uh, she helped vote. That's cute. Yeah. Miss she helped vote. She helped with voting for us. Very nice. She, she, and, she and along with a lot of other friends helped her to vote. 
I was going to ask you a, a few questions about that. First, uh, well, how did, how did, we spoke about this earlier, but I, w I was amazed how you heard about the contest. Yes, we, um, we were voting last year for last year's winner, Sa Sasha. And um, how we got to know about it was um, Sasha's dad and Adelini's dad, uh, uh, they work in the same company. Right. They, they're, uh, uh, Sasha was the uh, winner last year, and uh, he had mentioned that his father was an IT guy and that uh, he had actually gone into his father's uh, uh, place of work and asked for, that for everybody to vote for him as one of the ways to get the votes. So y your husband and, and Sasha's husband work for the same company. I, I, I yes. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, that's great. And that's how we got to know about the contest, because I had liked your page, so I was getting updates and was reading all your updates. Uh, that's, that's great. Uh, Delini, you, are you taking lessons with someone? Is that how you learn the air supply? Because you, your, your winning uh, video was with you playing air supply, right? My mom had taught me the piece um, last year. Ah, so mom, mom is teaching you how to play, is giving you the lessons? I have a piano teacher who teaches me classical songs, but the songs you hear from the radio, my mom teaches them. Oh, how nice. And, and how long have you been taking uh, the lessons with the classical teacher? About five years. Okay, very nice. Well, you're going to have a, a very nice piano to, to play on uh, shortly. <laughs> and uh, and uh, so. Uh, do you, do you uh, see yourself continuing uh, with music, uh, maybe doing... Uh, yes. Uh, yes, okay. That was, uh, that was quick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, were, you were in third place for quite a while, and then it seemed like right at the end you, you put on like almost a, a finishing kick, and you ended up with over a thousand votes. I mean, uh, how, we, how did you do that? How, how did you get all those votes? Um, maybe, I guess people were for me a while, and I... Came up to second. Yeah, you came up to second. Yeah, you certainly did. And uh, yeah, so. With uh, the help of a lot of friends and family. Yeah, they, so. They took it upon themselves to um, share the page and vote, ask people to vote. Yes, so, and we, we are from Sri Lanka, so a, a lot of friends and family from there voted too. So it's, it's like an internet, and we have a lot of friends outside in. Australia, they voted. So, um, yeah, we, we uh, noticed uh, with the, uh, the statistics uh, on the on, on our Facebook page that we we actually got votes from over 20 countries around the world. So I guess some uh, some of those were you, uh, your friends and relatives. Uh, yep. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, and um, yeah, so. Is there anything you'd like to, uh, to say to everybody before uh, we... Uh... Well, I got the piano just in time for my birthday. My birthday is July 25th. But for the visit, it was a um, birthday gift from a long time. Oh, that's beautiful. That is really beautiful. Well, happy birthday. We're so we're delighted that you won... Thank you people who voted for me. We, that you won the piano and uh, we'll finish you off with maybe a little of this. Baby Grand Piano, which is on its way to Pittsburgh. And now, back to Sonny and Professor of Jazz Piano, Scott Balin. Okay, we're back, and now we're going to uh, finish out the show with uh, three more videos. One is uh, by a Japanese fellow who is uh, writing a, a, what appears to be a atonal improvisation based on his experience with the tsunami that uh, hit uh, Japan this past year. And uh, this is very interesting. And then we're going to go and hear uh, Jane uh, Haystay play. And she's a, also a native Long Islander here. And she plays out in the Hamptons. And uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, her husband is a, a bass player. Yeah, yeah. yeah he has a very good musician. Yeah, also, yeah. yeah. And now they've been running a, a series of uh, concerts out on Long Island also. And uh, she's... Uh, very active, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, really promoting the arts and, and bringing in different people. Yeah. So we'll listen to her. Then we'll finish it off with... Uh, a young Matthew, he's a three-year-old uh, piano player, and uh, 
Yeah, that uh, yeah. show. Yeah. So let's uh, take a look at this uh, this fellow who submitted this video. It's called Huge Earthquake, Tsunami and Prayers. <laughs> Reminds me a little of the uh, of, of the A tone school music of uh, Tristano and 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 Connie Crothers. Well, and, Connie Crothers and, and, also, and, yeah. Yeah, and Kazu Jackson. Right. And, uh, and you know when you know I'm by myself, I can sound like that. Go that direction. Yeah, yeah. going that direction. Totally A tone, just mm. kind of like the scale free of form. most. Yeah, free form. Yeah. Free. Connie calls it uh, spontaneous improvisation. Right. Well, that's what. Kind of but yeah. this has a theme to it in a way. Yeah, you can sense the tsunami and the building up of that. Uh, yeah, the yeah, actually, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very powerful. Yeah, very interesting. All right, so let's take a look now yeah. at, uh, at Jane. Sure. This is uh, you want to set this up, Jane? You know, yeah. Well, I, I've met her a couple of times. Uh -huh. So she's based out in East Hampton. Right. She's a pianist. Now she works with the, the church, the organist in the church. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Her husband he says is a musician, a bass yeah. player, and yeah. also a pianist. She gives lessons there. A teacher as well. Yeah. 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 So it's very active, yeah. I, I, I bumped into her, she was looking, she, was, uh, uh, she and her husband were playing in a restaurant out in right. East Hampton, they right. needed a piano. So she came over well, that and, was a yeah, connection, yeah. yeah, looked for a piano and picked one out for the uh, fellow. And uh, yeah, she's uh, she's great. Uh, so wonderful musician. Yeah, yeah, here we are, Jane Haste. See her almost every weekend. She yes, out. very active. Yeah, performing, yeah. especially in the summertime. Yeah. 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 So, uh, all right. Well, uh, that's great listening to her. Now we're going to um, uh, finish her off today. Oh, with, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is a, a fun video that uh, uh, this young uh, man's parents uploaded, and uh, he's uh, I think he's about three years old. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Matthew. But uh, yeah. we're going to uh, take that end with. Uh, Matthew playing, um, I guess, a uh, some sort of groove. Right? Yeah, he's grooving out. Okay. <laughs> 